Come on, bitch. Let's dance. I'm sorry, buddy. My monkey friend will take care of you. Totally called that. You're probably wondering why I'm looting everything. Because you need it for like cooking and that stuff later. Have you dispatched Aknara? That piece of Enchow? My fine Falar. Well done. I'll see your name is not forgotten. <laughs> Aknara, however, will be forgotten. The Dunma reshape history to serve their needs. I'll remove any mention of her actions here, and I'll purge all records of that vile assassin. Captain Hyon lost his life bravely defending the fort from that covenant scum. He cut down a score of them, but eventually succumbed to his wounds. That magnificent fetcher will be missed. Poor bastard. Though our time was short, it was dear. I'm so tired of rumor mongers. Keep walking. Not yet. Why would they give you the quest ten or five levels too early? Well, let's keep making our way to Ebon Heart. I'm sure there's a few hundred more <laughs> quests on the way there. The quickest blade makes the Oh my god, I can hardly hurt this thing. Damn! She is vicious. Or he. And that sun is very realistic. You guys just beating the crap out of each other?
Greetings. And now I'm in Ebonheart. Good day. What are you drinking? Honor for the pact, they says. What brings you to this god's forsaken dark elf dunghole? <laughs> the beer in this land is fit only for pigs. Good thing we brought our own. Have the elves asked you to help beat back the covenant yet? Duh. To sovereign guard with them. Aye. The milk drinkers landed to the west at that big yellow tree thing. Now the drez have got their skirts in a twist. Oh, please save us big strong lords. <laughs> Fancy lads, the lot of them. They think Nords only exist to save Elven asses. Bring them on. We don't skeever out of a fight. When we're attacked, we fight. I wager you think we should fight for the rest of the pact. All right. Prove they've got some backbone. Let's see you beat three of my men, and do it the Nord way. We fight drunk. We've got a keg of fine, strong mead from Riften right here. Pour yourself a mug and get to it. Unless you're too fancy, of course. Bitch, I'm a Nord. <laughs> An unusually powerful Nord mead. We perform an important service, you know? If not for us, the Dark Elves would never see a massive log, or a long, smooth piece of wood. Especially the Lady Elves. If you know what I mean. I like him. <laughs> you could only beat me if I was blind, stinking sober. And I'm not. This should be fun. <laughs> Hell, am I stunned or something? <laughs> Stop. I need more move. Oh. I gotta keep refilling after each one. Some of the boys like to flirt with the elf girls. I don't know why. They're so little. There's nothing to them. <laughs> you look stringy as a wet kajiki and smell twice as bad. <laughs> You're clever, you are. Let's see how well you take a blow. Try to put up a decent fight. <laughs> Tickled. Some of the boys like to flirt with the... Um... <laughs> Didn't I just beat one? A 
Yield strength. Good fight. Some of the boys like to fly. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't be timid. You're tougher than you look. Oh. <laughs> Good fight! You'll have to find someone else to brawl with. I just need a moment to catch my breath and stop the bleeding and get another mead. You know how it is. <laughs> This is why I love Nords. I don't feel so Good day. What are you drinking? Are you asking for a challenge? Shaw's bones! I thought today was going to be dull. Try to put up a decent fight. <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Bad, I'll give you that. I said I would, and I don't go back on my word. I hope the rest of the pact fights like you, not that milk drinking Urano. <laughs> Ravel Urano, that dark elf here before you. He kept asking to buy our lumber so we'd leave town. I told him no, we had a contract to keep, but he offered to double it. No one pays that much for wood, even good rift spruce. What a skeever. Why did he want you to leave? Don't know and didn't ask. His story smelled like last week's fish. Whole time we were talking, he kept looking around for a crack to ooze through, sweating like. The boys ran him off with a few light cuffs to the head. <laughs> he hasn't come back since. Few light cuffs to the head? Right. Things like that. They're exactly why we keep to ourselves in the elven lands. That and the bad food. Anyway. You're all right. Tell that fancy Othral we'll fight. Come back and drink with us again sometime. A bit of sport. Oh, convince the Nords. Huh? Praise the three and pass the bottle of Sudrama, eh? Is it true they summoned Balre? We want no trouble, Outlander. My injury doesn't keep me from stringing a bow. A Nyx hound attacked our caravan. He savaged my leg and carried off one of our guar. <laughs> no. Lately we've sighted savage creatures in the wastelands. They're more than a match for our tribe's hunters. Great rewards await any hunter who can bring them to ground. The first is Varnog, a feral Nyx hound. The next is worse, Bliger, a vicious and territorial bullnetch. Worst of all is a clan fear named Gerlisk. He is the least vicious of the three, but look what he did to my leg. We met him on the road southeast of Ebenhart. Our best guess is he escaped from the goblin tribe, or ate them. He floats along the shore west of here. Do not ask me the origin of his name. I assume it stems from the way netches float through the air. Strange story, that. 
Summoned by an old conjurer who lived in the hills east of Cragenmore. The conjurer died, but it stayed. No one knows why, and no hunters ever tracked it to its lair. We drove our Gua here to trade. The Ashlands give our tribe many things such as food and shelter. They aren't as generous with medicinal potions or steel. Ha! <laughs> even if we would have the housemen, they wouldn't have us. They won't even let us within their walls to trade. We must stay outside, bedding with their animals. Those bitches. But because they're heretics. Or because we are, whichever you prefer. We hold true to the faith of our ancestors. The worship of Azura, Boethia, and Mephala. They believe the three elders of their tribunal are gods. We know the truth. The so-called three are murderers and necromancers. Now? Here? No, I've already said too much. I have no love for the housemen. But my people need their wares. Ask someone else. The first is Varnog, a feral. No, can't hurt me for asking. Hello. Time to convince the other three now. Smuggler last week. Can you imagine? Here. Convince the Dark Elves. The shrines are outside the city, north, southeast, and southwest. The Vex Shrine is across the river to the southwest of Ebonheart. Almalexia's is to the southeast. The shrine to Sofa Seal is on an island north of the Argonian Quarter. Burn the flowers at each shrine. They're a rare variety of gold carnet called Roland's Tears, and are sacred to the three. So I need to get these damn blessings. Hello there. <laughs> My kingdom for a horse. By the saints. Oh, hey, you look big. Damn, he had a lot of stuff. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't walk in the nice sand. My lady Omalexia bids you carry a message to disciple Sildras. Ah, oh, you are the child whose soul was stolen. My lady is concerned for you. Omalexia is the merciful healing mother of the Dunma. She is the most beloved of the tribunal. I am merely a servant and messenger of my lady, not a teacher or priest. Seek the temples and libraries to learn more. Perhaps in time, you may speak to Amalexia herself. The Tribunal does not abandon their people. Just as a parent shelters children from dangers they cannot comprehend, the three shelter the Dunmer from threats beyond their ken. Tell him that my lady is mindful of his doubt and fear. There is no shame in either, so long as he helps others bear their burdens. By helping others, his fears will be allayed. But if he spreads his despair, my lady will chastise him. <laughs> My lady will rip out his coals. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack that Varnag thing. 
bunch of stuck up ancestor worshipping fetches. Now the Vex blessing. Why does it have to be all the way over here? Ooh, flower. I appear at my lord's behest. Or perhaps I was always here, and you merely lacked the ability to see me. He's kind of a dick. Vivek is a warrior poet, the ruthless and elegant soul of his people. He guides and protects all. Sharp of eye and tongue is he. Long is his reach. Longer is his spear. Giggity. How can this question be on the lips of anyone in Morrowind? The sermons of Vivek are beside every bed. Vivek's psalms are sighed from every maiden's lips. His wisdom makes his people as hard, capable, and enduring as the poet himself. All know Vivek, for Vivek would have it so. Actions carry conviction better than words. A skilled poet arranges for others to be where they should be, when they should be. To fulfill his needs and desires. Yet the question Sildras asked was not the one in his heart. A man of poisoned words put doubt in Sildras' heart. He said the poet is less than he once was. Tell the disciple that Vivek's words and wit and way of war are as keen as always. What is Vivek beyond these? A ghost? I don't know. I'm a Nord. I don't pay attention to no elf crap. Hail. So pretty much what I gathered from those three spirit things was to tell him to suck it up. That's pretty much what I got. Hello there. I can feel the blessings upon you. It's a power I've not felt myself for many years. I... I see. I hadn't considered there might be threats more grave than the Covenant invasion. You would think, given all we know of the treachery of Cold Harbor, that I would see that. What of Sotha Seal? I am ashamed. The three have shown more faith in me than I have in them. I dread asking this, but what of Lord Vivek? Ha! Huh. Yes, I should have known. Vivek is the most subtle of the three. It's true, I've been counseling a Dunma who questions his faith. He told me the Tribunal are losing their powers. Only indirectly. We see the three less every year. They no longer make their annual pilgrimage to Red Mounting on Vardenfell, and no one knows why. It all seems so convincing when he said it. His name is Ravil Urano. He hasn't come to pray for days now. He was in such despair. I think he'd even stopped bathing. The last time I saw him, he smelled terrible, like fresh offal. What? Have I been a fool? 
I questioned my faith for the flimsiest of reasons and caused others to question theirs. I have much to do to correct my failure. I wish I knew why Ravil Urano's doubting words were so compelling. Money! Yeah, I've got the graphics up all the way, so I'd hope it looked pretty good. Now to convince the Argonians. Hello there. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. It's down here. Another stranger swims into our wallow. I have no quarrel with you. We shall speak. But know that if you would help those trying to murder our hist, I will speak with my teeth instead of my tongue. Yeah, that's okay. It's dying. It was never healthy. This isn't Black Marsh after all. So in the last few weeks, it's withered. We've learned that House Drez is poisoning it. It's not enough to have enslaved us for generations. Now they want to carve our hearts out. Those bitches. The best we can do is fertilize it. We're using mud crab meat wrapped in ash reed. Both are common around the quarter. We've also set guards around the tree to keep the Dunmer away. If you wish to aid us, gather the items I requested. Ash reeds grow in the tide pools in our quarter, and mud crabs thrive on the shores nearby. Gather some of each and present them at the roots of our hist. Some of our people heard a dark elf talking to others of his kind. He asked if they'd seen the Drez rowing out to our hist tree. He saw jars of poison in the boat. That's not hard to believe. Ravel Arano. Oh, My dick. people overheard him at the inn. He was drunk and talking too loud. No one spoke to him directly. It's never been wise for an Argonian to confront a dark elf. Especially lately. We're far from Black Marsh. No, but it's not difficult to believe, is it? The Drez think we're little more than animals. But the Pact freed us. What they can't enslave, they destroy. The Drez have always regarded Argonians as little more than savage children. We needed to be civilized, so they uplifted us by putting us to work as slaves on plantations and in mines. No more. Now we speak beside them in the council. This, uh... This dark elf that keeps, uh... Fucking everything up. I, I do not, I do not care for him. Damn it, too many quests. There we go. Level 10 mud crab. My god, what are we feeding these things? <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, during the beta. A few of the critters got glitched and were like level 50 in the starting area. So you'd go to attack a squirrel that's level 48 and then die. <laughs> What do you have there? 
Nothing. We are allowing no one to approach the Hist, especially strangers claiming they wish to help us. We just caught a dark elf trying to poison the tree. Your words smell fair, but tasting is proof. Let me see what you have there. Yes, I wrecked the spine of Apology. While you were away, we caught a dark elf defiling our Hist. Please, apply the fertilizer you've gathered to the base of our Hist. As long as I'm with you, the guards will let you through. One of our guards is escorting him to my lodge. He seems half mad. He was doing something to the tree, and apparently he is of House Drez. My god. I'm gonna fertilize the shit out of that sapling. Let this one through. It is done. Meet me back at my lodge. The hell? They really like this tree. we have proof that the Drez are trying to murder our tree. While you were gathering mud crab meat and reeds, the guards caught him trying to harm our Hist. We can't get anything out of him but his name and house. Seems the rumors were true. House Drez is trying to murder our Hist. He was scratching at the bark, licking our tree. When the guards shouted at him, he dropped an empty bottle. Now he's very ill. You may do as you wish, but his mind is boiling. His words skitter like a mud crab in a pan. You will gather no moisture from this one. That's creepy. I can feel the spores on my fingertips. Can't wipe them off. Have to cut them off. Someone, give me a knife. Please! What did I do? What did it do to me? I see. I feel. I'm awake! I touched it. It smelled like flowers and black earth. It tasted like rain and summer wind and the deepest green. He said the tree's sap would be better than skooma. He was right. He said the Argonians might be angry. Do you think they're angry? To me, they always look angry. It's the teeth. Yeah, I can see that. He gave me the bottle, said it was for the tree. I thought it was skooma. I tasted it. It was bad. I fed it to a lizard. He didn't like it either. He died. The bottle broke. How can I fill it with sap? Oh, I never saw him before. I asked him for coin to get more skooma. He was a uh, Dunma. Uh, someone called him Bravil? Weevil? Wabajack? Ravil! That's it! Ravel? I can't believe it. Ravel! Ravel Urano claimed he saw House Drez poison our history. Then he gave a bottle to this tree-licking waste of flesh. I smell worm scat. Someone has been playing us for fools, and I no longer believe it's House Drez. Damn right! Time to finish this damn quest. Restoring order. Oh, damn it. Is it? Have our town's fortunes improved? 
That's a great relief. Well done. The Covenant troops haven't left their encampment to the west, but it's only a matter of time before our inactivity encourages them. I don't know this, Mur. Why would he cause so much trouble? Perhaps he's an agent of Shea Gorath. That's an unpleasant thought. The Daedra of Chaos is worse than any mere Covenant army. Can you aid me further? I suppose... Ravil must have a house in town. I'd like you to find it and watch him. And kill him. I'd like to see myself, but I'm sure he'll recognize me. So I'll need to cast a spell on you. Commoners would call it a scrying spell. But I'm beyond such crude hedge magic. It will enable me to see and hear what you do. Furthermore, I'll be able to speak to you. Wait, wait, wait. So if I go to the bathroom or have a little me time, you're going to see this. <laughs> Search for Ravil's home. I expect it's on the west side of town. You should be able to hear me now.